Hello. Hey, okay. You do. I'm actually, I'm sitting here being interviewed right now about oyster grounds. Uh, this, this was perfect timing on your part. That was actually Horn Point calling in. When I first started this in 2012 or 13, um, we were actually setting tank, or we was putting shelling tanks at the end of May, you know, hoping that June they could get yeah, things warmed yeah. up and salted up enough to make it work. But um, this year was the first of August before anybody up and down the bay, even like down Pony Point, it was. It's just been a tough year. Oh, yeah. Not not knowing, you know, I, mean, I get up and I go and I hope for the best, but uh, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Now. I got up this morning, went crabbing. I mean, I, it was probably one of the worst that we've had this summer to start out with. Now, before the day was there, of course, I, I, I'm on the hunt. So. Is it kind of like you have to have a strategy? Sometimes. <laughs> uh, I like it when it's really good. You don't need a strategy. You just go out there and make the money and come home. But uh, no, they don't always work out like that. And uh, that's kind of like this aquaculture, same thing. It's just... Uh, what can I do to make it work better? Well, it does kind of make me a little bit more proud, I guess, than most of them. You know what I mean? It's like, but it's like I, I wonder now, why didn't I see her when she took this photo? It's like, where was she at when I took this photo? And it makes me keep my boat cleaner because you never know where your picture's being taken. You know, it's like I hate to use a mop, but man, it's like uh, somebody might be taking a picture. Let's clean her up.